Okwa Tanzian Wan, my people. Welcome to the ultimate fun game build guide for Sevagoth. I call this the Speed Goth AoE Nuke because it's made for zipping around normal star chart or sortie missions and nuking everything on your screen. If you want a build that's made for difficult missions like Steel Path, look for a link in the description below to my hardcore endgame Sevagoth build. As you can see from the stats here, this build is heavy on strength, range, and efficiency. It sacrifices a little duration because it's not all that necessary. We get that strength through a growing power aura, which gives us a 25% boost for 6 seconds whenever we proc a status effect with a weapon. We're also using Augur Secrets, Umbral Intensify, but you can substitute a regular Intensify if you haven't maxed out your Umbral yet, and a Transient Fortitude. The range is important because we want to cover a large area with So, our second ability. We get it with Stretch, Augur Reach, and Cunning Drift, which also helps us move around a little faster. Fleeting Expertise is all we need to nearly max out our efficiency, and Prime Continuity gets us back to a respectable amount of duration. After we prime enemies with So, the duration gives us plenty of time to cast Reap several times if necessary to nuke the area. Rush in the Exilus slot boosts our sprint speed, and I've also replaced Sevagoth's third ability with Molt, which allows us to place a decoy and draw enemy fire away from us, and gives us a short burst of sprint speed. Arcanes are not all that mandatory on this build, but Energize is always a nice addition for a spellcaster. Even one at rank 3 or 4 should be enough to keep you from being energy starved. The other slot is for Arcane Aegis, which just allows us to piggyback on the Augur mod set bonus and play with shield gating to avoid taking health damage. Now the way this build works is extremely simple. Get yourself within 30 meters of enemies, then cast So to plant a death seed in all of them. Follow that up with Reap and watch them all go pop! If you're facing tougher enemies, go ahead and spam cast Reap a few times to wipe the area. You don't need to wait for the shadow to finish its flight before casting again. As for Molt, if you're in a mission type that has you moving around a lot, it can be used for short bursts of additional sprint speed. If the mission keeps you in one spot, like in a mobile defense or interception, Molt can be used as a mild CC to draw enemy fire away from you. I think of it as a bonus to the build and not at all necessary, so if you don't have Helmet yet or have some sort of Saren, don't worry about it. And if you don't think you'll use it much, go nuts and try something else. Nezha's Firewalker is good for more sprint speed and status immunity. Ender's Fire Blast provides CC and armor strip. Wisp's Breach Surge will outrange your So ability and provide more damage. And Cores and Snare works well if you want some hard CC. Experiment and find something that fits your playstyle. Finally, you never really need to use Sevagoth's Shadow with this build. But if you just feel like messing around with it and want to build, I'll leave another link in the description below to my build for him, as well as my build for his claws. I'll leave you now with a little more gameplay footage, and I know you're not one of those people who watches a video and never clicks the like button, so I'm not even going to insult you by asking you to like and subscribe. That would just be rude. Thank <laughs> you. 